Hello and welcome to A, a Couple, Couple Codes. Codes. My name is Cody. And my name is Emily. And we've been coding for the past 20 weeks with the Odin Project. Today we're going to give you an update on what we did this week. So Cody, where are you in the curriculum? I am on the final JavaScript project for the JavaScript course. So I'm 96% away of done with that course and I'm almost done. So Nice! Yep. What was significant that you've learned this week? I learned about nested routing, which essentially is putting routes within routes. I'm using this specifically because I have users that are subscribed and people that haven't subscribed but have made it to the home page. So I want to create different workflows that use specific components for the UI. So that routing allows me to essentially create just that. So then I have sub pages for like say the dashboard has different tabs, I can render those specific tabs but keep the main elements of the dashboard the same. Mm, okay, and what was most challenging this week? Most challenging was stopping myself from going ahead and just using Node.js without really having any understanding of it. So I really wanted to dive into it, but I went to the Node.js section and it had advice there that I shouldn't do explicitly just that. So I'm just gonna be working with JSON data for the time being and reading and writing locally within React. Hmm. Okay, and what did you enjoy most this week? I really enjoyed seeing the data that I have actually populating within the dashboard that I created. It's pretty simple design right now, but it took me a lot of time to curate that data and I'm still curating that data. And it was just really nice to see it actually come up in a web application that I can eventually get out into the public and, and put online, so. Good work. So Em, where are you in the curriculum? I am 54% through the JavaScript course. Oh yeah, yes. that's what I'm talking about. So I just finished the binary search trees project and I just started the Knight's Travails project. Mm -hmm. yes. What's the most significant thing that you learned this week? The most significant thing was learning how to apply the breadth first and depth first search algorithms to different contexts. So the whole beginning of the computer science section was all about theory and then we learned to write the algorithms and now we're actually applying them. So for example, I'm applying the breadth first search algorithm with the Knight's Travails project. So it's exciting to see all the different ways that we can use these patterns and algorithms to solve different types of problems. Whenever I hear breadth first, I think of bread first. I know, it's really hard to bread. say breadth first. Yeah. <laughs> I live bread first though. <laughs> so what was the most challenging aspect of this week? The start of the Knight's Travails project. Mm. It's yeah, very that's, that's a tough project. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy to just dive into the code and try to solve it your own way. But once I did that, things got really complicated and I realized that I was just trying to reinvent the wheel. So I had to take a step back and go back to what I've been learning with these search algorithms to actually use those to solve my problem more efficiently. What did you enjoy most about the week? Getting back into our routine. Yes. Yes. This, this week felt like what the first week of January should have felt like mm. for what we were aiming for. And it just feels nice that we were able to stick to our routine every single day this week. And I'm excited for next week as well that we just continue this pattern. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. Yes. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to follow along with our web development journeys. If you enjoyed this video, then definitely hit the like button. Thanks for tuning in to A, A Couple, Couple Codes. Codes.